Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel likes trying anything, so you don't have to. In today's video, it's going to be a tutorial video about the Casio W729, which has a module number of 1822. So the first thing to talk about in this video is the actual pushers that make up this watch. So as you can see, you've got one, two, three metal pushers around the sides and you also have top and bottom. You've got a pusher there and a pusher there, which are marked in grey. Now the pusher here for the adjust allows you to adjust certain elements of whatever mode you are in. So in timekeeping mode, if you keep your finger pressed down on it, it'll allow you to adjust the time. It will allow you to adjust a part of a mode that you are currently got the watch in. The split reset mode uh, obviously allows you to do split and reset when it's on the stopwatch mode and also reset I believe when it's on uh, countdown timer. Also what you can do is use these two buttons here to amend the values within the time that you are looking to adjust as well as the alarm that you are looking to adjust or countdown timer and stuff like that. The bottom left hand button allows you to adjust the mode so if you want to just quickly flick through the modes that are on this watch then you can do that or access any of the modes that are on this watch you can do that by pressing the mode button now the light button here I'll just quickly show you with a clip to the right hand side if you press the light button it will activate the electroluminescent backlit display that this watch features so the, f the next thing to talk about is the actual display and that is the what you've got is two graphic indicators going on here so this graphic indicator will count up to a t a t tens of seconds and then it goes back down over the next 10 of a second so for example as you can see it's going up to 10 and then it'll go back down when it does another 10 etc this will count up to a minute and then it will start counting down to another minute and so on and so forth this here indicated by the th is your indication of the day of the week this is the month within the year the date within the month and then what you have is the hours minutes and seconds and what you have here is the p you'll notice it, a p there that indicates that it's a pm or any time after 12 noon and um, if it's am there's no p indicated if you are in 12 hour if you are in 24 hour time format you'll say the two four there and um, what what will happen is that this watch will go up in as it were anything after what 12 o'clock you'll notice for one o'clock p.m or one o'clock in the afternoon it'll say 1300 hours and they're on it so that's the actual display in a nutshell on the timekeeping mode seeing as we're on the timekeeping mode what we're going to show you how to do is to how to adjust the main date and time on this watch and it's easily done by keeping your finger on the adjust button as i've mentioned earlier and what you'll notice is that the seconds will start to flash and the actual graphic element of the display will go blank so to reset the seconds it's easily done press start stop and what you'll notice is because it is over 30 seconds the it affects the actual minute part of the time so it will go up by one but if it's under 30 seconds all it does is just reset it and i'm just pressing start stop to actually reset that part of the time to move on to what would be the hours you press the mode button again and you can easily adjust the time as it were the hour of the day by pressing split reset which allows you to go backwards or start stop which allows you to go forward the next part is pressing mode again will take you on to the minutes again press start stop to go backwards uh, sorry split reset to go backwards and then start stop to go forwards pressing it again will allow you to adjust 24 hour or 12 hours so in this instance i'm going to go 24 12 hour by pressing that or by pressing that again so there's a bit of a common theme here that these two buttons here will allow you to adjust certain parameters of the actual adjustment of timekeeping mode so i'll pop it back onto 12 hour Again, press mode again will allow you to adjust the month, the date within the month by pressing mode again, and then finally you can adjust the day within the week, again by pressing either of these two buttons at the top. And to finish the adjustment, you just press the adjust a bit again, and what you'll notice is that the um, graphic display will start to work again, and none of the actual values within the timekeeping mode will be flashing. operate the countdown timer you press mode from the time keeping mode you just press it once and what you'll notice there on the actual graphic display has gone blank there but you will notice under there you've got the local time listed in miniature just underneath and then what you've got here is the actual count time countdown timer alarm values that you can amend or 
operate. So if you want to operate it from just from the zero, you just press start stop. And what you'll notice is that it will count down from 24 hours. So you've got 23 hours, 59 minutes, 54 seconds, and then tens of seconds going on here. Press it again. If you want to stop it, press stop. And then if you want to reset it back to the zero, you press split reset just here. You can adjust the actual amount or you can use a set the amount of time you want it to count down from, which if you press the adjust button going on here, like you would do. So you can add or take away the amount of hours you want. So if you want to adjust the hours, so if I wanted it one hour or anything like that, then you just use either of these buttons to adjust the value. You press mode again if you want to adjust the minutes. So again, if I wanted the timer to be for say 10 minutes, I just press that button here to go up or if that button to go down. So I press the start stop to go up to 10 minutes say. So let's just get to 10 minutes and then press it again to zero that off and then press it again just to go back to naught. So if I just press the adjust button. Now this part here, when you're pressing the adjust button allows you to do what's known as auto restart. So obviously when the countdown goes from 10 minutes to zero minutes, obviously the uh, you'll have the alarm operate. But with if you've got the auto start re restart on, it will count down the next 10 minutes and so on and so forth or until you stop the actual countdown timer or you turn the auto restart off. So you can turn it on and off by just pressing either split reset or start stop. So I'll just leave it off in this instance and just press adjust again to stop the adjustment and if you want to see how it will go from 10 minutes onwards you just press that button there and as you can see it's starting to count down from the 10 minutes and that's that and if you want to reset it back to 10 minutes as easy as that right the next mode i'm going to show you how to use is the stopwatch and the stopwatch can be accessed twice by pressing the mode button twice from the timekeeping mode. And if you just want to start the stopwatch, you just press start stop once. And as you can see, the time is now the elapsed time is starting to go off. So if you want to stop it, you press stop again. And if you want to re split reset it, you press the reset button there. If you want to do split times or as it were, just have one split time, you start the stopwatch and then you press split. What you'll notice, it'll say SPL, meaning that you've got these split time indicated here if you want to release the split time you press split one more time and then you, what you see is the actual elapsed time is still going on so it's still measuring it and then if you want to start and stop and then reset it's as easy as that now this watch will allow you to using the combination of the start stop and split it'll allow you to indicate two finishing times so say for example you've got two runners in a race then if you want to record the first one finishing and then the second one finishing within the same elapsed time you can easily do that with this watch so you start the actual timer and it's just going off here say for example the first runner does it in a very quick time and they're just going through the finish line you just press split and the actual elapsed time is still going on because you can see the actual time colon and stuff like that still flashing so that would be the finishing time of the first runner and then if you want to start to measure the second runner going through the start as it were the finish time you just press the start stop and there's your second finish time going on there and then you just press reset and that resets the actual stopwatch to what you can see here. Now this stopwatch will also allow you to do what's known as an auto start. And what that means is it will give you a five second countdown before the actual stopwatch starts to record an elapsed time. Just press the split reset here. And what you'll notice is it says auto ST, which is auto start. And it'll have five, which indicates the five second countdown it will give you. So as long as that's activated, you press start stop. And what you'll notice is it starts to count down to one. And there you go, it starts to measure an elapsed time. And then you just want to stop it, you press start stop at the top, and then split reset. And if you want to turn it off, you just easily press the split reset as long as the value is zeroed off. Now the other thing you can do within the stopwatch function is set up what's known as target time. So for example, if you want to give yourself a target time for when the watch will beep to say, that, say for example of 10 minutes in which you want to do your run and then complete your run by, then you can set it on the stopwatch part of the um, watch modes that are going on here. And it's easily done, as long as you're in the stopwatch um, mode, you just keep your finger on the adjust button and that will allow you to set up a target time in which you want the stopwatch to beep when it reaches that and elapsed time. So again, like you would do timekeeping mode and the countdown timer, say for example I wanted to set it for 10 minutes, uh, which can be easily done by pressing the start stop at the top, 
so that's set for 10 minutes and then I press the adjust button and then what I do is press the split reset or start stop to turn it on and what you'll notice is that there's a little icon just to indicate the target time function is on and then press adjust button again just to put it back to the stopwatch and then you just press start now on this watch obviously I can't show you how this will work because I think the battery's starting to go down hence why you don't hear any beeps or anything like that um, but if, when you do go up to 10 minutes it's meant to actually beep to indicate that you are at what would be the target time now again it's easily start start stop and then reset you can easily turn it off again by pressing the adjust button and then obviously you can just go through and zero off your values as easy as that and then press the mode button again just to make sure you, all the values are zeroed and as soon as you press the adjust button you can turn the target time function off and then press it as long as it's on the off and then press the adjust button then target times off and the icon isn't displayed now as you can see the actual local time is still displayed within this mode so you just got an accurate idea of what's going on locally to you the next mode i'm going to talk about is the alarm now the this watch will function with a single daily alarm and also an hourly alarm now to set the what will be the alarms to or to activate me press split reset and what that will allow you to do so in this instance i've got what will be the daily alarm activated as well as the hourly alarm which is indicated by a bell and if you press split reset again you can turn them off or you can turn just the daily alarm on or just the hourly alarm and again both have them on and then both have them off and that's just by pressing that now to adjust the daily alarm you just keep your finger down on what would be the adjust button here and as you can see the alarm is activated so just be aware of that when you are amending the time so if I just wanted to uh, set it for say 7 30 in the morning just to wake up ready for work you just start stop to move it forward or split reset to move the value back and then just press mode to move it on again so in this instance I'm going to move it backwards to three zero And there you go, you're at 7.30. And again, as I said, showing you, just press split reset just to turn them both off. And finally, just to show you how to amend dual time. Now, dual time is obviously, uh, it allows you to simultaneously show two different times with the top one being your local time and the second one being the time in which you're looking to amend it to. So this just amend to say two hours behind because this is normally good if you're traveling to another part of the world or you are communicating with loved ones or business associates in different parts of the world as it were. So again, you just press the adjust button as you would do in timekeeping mode, in stopwatch or countdown timer or the alarm. And let's say, let's just put it th um, one 49 p.m. so just go back words and then press mode and let's just go forward on this instance and as you can see it is set up to be two hours behind or you can have it to as many hours forward or as many hours behind as you wish and that's how you adjust the dual time within this watch and that as far as I'm aware is that that is the Casio W729 in a nutshell now if there's anything I've missed then I have linked to instructions below on the Casio website so I hope you like the quick tutorial about this watch and if you did then click on the like button always helps if you want to see more videos from the We Try Anything channel then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye